Hey guys, welcome to Easy Academy. Today we're going to be learning about a kinetic molecular gas theory law named Charles Law. Now Charles Law essentially determines the relationship between two different variables. And these two different variables are temperature or T and volume or V. Now it's important to remember that temperature has to be in the Kelvin scale in order for this law to be true. But what also has to be true is that you have to have two different variables as a constant in order for Charles law to be true. Now these two different constants are going to be pressure or P and the number of particles or n. Now what exactly is the relationship between temperature and volume? Well Charles Law basically tells you that as temperature goes up, volume also goes up, and as temperature goes down, volume also goes down. So what's essentially saying is that the relationship between temperature and volume is a proportional relationship. So the graph for it would look something like this, because it's proportional. As temperature goes up, volume also goes up, and as temperature goes down, volume also goes down as well. Now, why is this true? Let's draw a particle diagram here. Let's pretend this box right here is able to be changed. The volume is able to be changed. And we put three particles in the box, and it's going at a decent speed. It's bumping around the box. And then let's add a thousand joules of heat into this particle diagram. And what will happen is the diagram is actually going to expand into a larger box. Now the reason why is after you add a thousand joules of heat, the particles inside also speed up. And gases tend to expand. So as they speed up, they start hitting the sides of the box even more and expanding the box to another different size. So what you're going to see is that as you increase the temperature, as you add heat to a uh, volume, the volume is going to increase as well. But as you decrease heat, let's say you start with this particle diagram right here and you take away a thousand joules, it's the volume is also going to decrease as well into a smaller particle diagram into a smaller volume. Okay, so now let's try a problem using Charles Law. Now this problem basically states that the volume of a sample of gas is 1 liter at 200 Kelvin. What is the volume when it is heated to 400 Kelvin at a constant pressure? Now remember this is at a constant pressure and it's not said directly in this problem, but the number of particles are also going to stay constant so that we know this is a Charles Law problem. Now let's put the information we know into this graph right here. We know that the temperature of the, of the gas is going to be starting at 200 Kelvin at 1 liter. So it starts at initially 200 Kelvin and 1 liters, but we're going to be heating up this gas up to 400 Kelvin. So it goes from 200 Kelvin to 400 Kelvin, which is going to be a net increase in temperature. And if anything, what we learned from Charles Law is that as temperature increases, volume also has to increase at the same time and at the same proportion because temperature and volume are proportional. So what this means is we have to divide the temperature in a way so that we get a positive outcome that would increase the volume. So in this case, it's going to be final over initial, which is going to be 400 Kelvin over 200 Kelvin, and we'll get 2. Because if it was the other way around, we would get 1 half, and multiplying 1 liters by 1 half only decreases the volume. So once you divide the final by the initial, you get 2. And you're going to multiply 2 by the 1 liter we have, and we're going to get a final of 2.00 liters. So as you increase temperature, volume also increases proportionally. So you have to divide the final by the initial and multiply that by the initial volume to get the final volume. And that's how you solve a Charles Law problem. This verse is for those with a dream and a passion. You gotta chase it down, man. Don't ever let it pass you. Be your own boss. Don't do everything that they ask you. A lot of people gonna pull you down if they.